Alrighty guys, so for this method it's pretty easy. You just want a narrow spoon, something that you can use and get out, you know, pretty far, around 160 feet. You got these three green trees right here that look pretty similar. One, two, three. You want to throw out toward this one right here. And you want to let it drop to the bottom, go up to real speed three and do a stop and go method. So let it get a little bit off the ground, drop back down. A little bit off the ground, drop back down. A little bit off the ground, drop back down. Rinse and repeat. What you're going after here is walleye. It's a known method, it's a very easy method. And it's very, very easy to uh, gain XP through level 5 all the way up to level 30 really if you want to sit here and just get money also too you want to make sure or you don't have to be but the best time is around 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. and also too one of the things with this this method um, you want to make sure you don't have like bought like high high-end products like reels rods because the higher end product you have less XP and less money you receive for catching the fish just FYI was very easy method Literally can catch a fish almost every time you throw the pole out. Boom. Two fish, two casts. Back to back. Super simple. Super easy method. To uh, I think it's 2350 to uh, 2350 to travel here. I like to save up and get the lifetime lifetime advance license if you can save your save your coins up if you got the chance to to buy the license with like actual cash. It's the easiest way to do it. Just spend just a little bit of money on it, and this is pretty much the uh, easiest way to get cash and XP later game that's a little bit different I haven't quite made it that far yet but this early game level 5 there's also an easy way to uh, rank up to level 5 too I can show y'all here in a little bit pretty much if you can you really normally can't but if you can buy like a little bass pack and uh, just go to the beginning lake is free and use a frog and go over to the lily pads and uh, buy the advanced uh, well really I don't think you can take the bass I don't think you can take the spotted bass from that place but if you can that's the best way for XP just to get to level 5 or just try to catch those spotted bass Like I said, just down, up, let it drop, go up just a little bit. Go up. Sometimes when it's really far out, it won't come up very much. Sometimes you snag stuff off the bottom too. You'll see that little drag to your right. <laughs> Boom. Easy money. Ooh, that was pulling a little bit harder. 
can catch uh, the um, what you call it this way too. Just to show you, oh yeah, also to always buy the uh, biggest net you can get too. But like right here, see, I've already, from 9 o'clock, I've done caught all this. And you can see up top right here to the top right where it says rewards, where I've got 49, 43. That's almost double what it costs to get here. It's only 11. It goes license renews at like 5 if you have to pay for one. But it's a fun game if you know what you're doing. And even if you don't know what you're doing, you're trying to just try some new stuff. If you just need some money, this is a good way to just save up some money real fast. Got a little bit of time to just grind it out. Which I don't mind anyways, because this is a fun little fish to catch. That's pretty easy. It's almost guaranteed a fish every time you throw out. Lighter the equipment that you have, the which it'll take it'll take longer to get it in and out. But the lighter the equipment you have, and the harder the fish is to get in, the more money and XP you get off the fish. Just to let you know. Another fish, that simple. That simple. That's a rare one. Don't normally get those. But yeah, you want to just find the uh, heaviest narrow spoon you can get as soon as you can get it. Just throw it out as far as you can towards that tree right there.
stop and go. Sometimes fish will do that, make it stand in the, like stop, look like it's standing. Sometimes you're getting snags. Once it gets in around 20, I just normally reel it in. Can't do much with it. Oh, got a trophy. That's what I was trying to say uh, earlier. I couldn't really think what I was talking about. Um, with this method, you can catch the trophies. Not as common, but you can catch the trophy while I was doing this method. Boom. It's mama bed. Mama's bed. Uh, you being bad? Uh-uh. Mama's being bad. Mama's being bad. Yeah. Scoot over. Right there. Look how hot it is in here. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm turning it on. Because it's burning up in here. When it does that little snag, I don't know if y'all seen that or not, but sometimes that's a fish, sometimes it's just snagged on something on the bottom. And sometimes you can see like a fish swipe at it. I swear that's gotta be what it is. You'll see the lure like pop up and like it'll pop up like two or three feet off the ground. Well, I don't know how many feet, but up at the top right above the uh things over here to the right where it says stop and go and it's showing the lure going up and down you'll see it like like something comes and like hits it 
goes up a few inches off the little display. It's almost like you're bumping something or something's hitting it. But as y'all can see up at the top left, I got 286 pound Iron Maiden fish stinger with a max weight fish of 99.2 pounds. That don't really matter too much about the max weight, but you definitely want to get the one that carries the most. Because these fish aren't very big, so you don't have to really worry about that. I just got that because I was I was going after the uh, Wells catfish. Catching those is kind of fun for me. I live in the U.S. and uh, don't really get to go fish for whales, catfish. I love fishing for catfish. Wish uh, more games had, you know, more like options, because we like to fish off boats and like uh, and kayaks and stuff like that, and pretty much uh, hover the bottom of the lakes, rivers, and stuff, and slowly move down lakes and rivers as it's pretty much hovering over the bottom, about two or three feet can't really do that on this game it's pretty much just throw and let it sit on the bottom it's not as fun as like trolling All right, I'm about to end this video. Kind of just live streaming right now. See how that one was off off the top of the, and it was actual fish. It wasn't just a snag. Gotta watch those. Sometimes it looks like it's just snagged on something. You snatch back on it. It's a fish. Boom! boom. But as y'all can see, method works great. It's a fast method. See how much money I've got now off that little yeah, bit. See, I went from four, what, 43 or 47? I think it was 43. Now I'm all the way up to 6,700. Like I said, I think it costs 23.50 to go here, plus a license, which for like a day. I mean, it isn't much for a license. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't really say. see what the license are yeah for one day for advance it's 600 so a total of like around 3,000 my suggestion would about three day if you're gonna go to nine o'clock time period I mean that's 4,000 for three days that's nothing you make that back every time easily but I'm going to go ahead and close down this little stream I made for just displaying this, and I will be back.